Good evening. Preston Carter said when he was watching the news unfold in Ukraine, he wanted to do something to help and booked a flight. The images from Ukraine are jarring, showing the mounting violence as Russian forces ravage the country. Images that shook Southern California native Preston Carter to his core. When I saw what was happening, I just couldn't believe it was like I just couldn't believe that that was happening to so many innocent people. Carter felt an urge to help. The thing I just thought to do, which is crazy, was just like, I need to go there. One week ago, Carter booked a flight, leaving behind his logistics job in Chicago to travel alone to Ukraine. There, he says he met other people from several countries who also took the risk. We aren't uh, really part of any organization or any NGO. Um, these are just like ordinary individuals who out of pocket traveled here to just kind of met up. Carter says they've helped people at the border and refugee centers. His cell phone videos document part of the journey. You know, we've been helping with like translations and with um, helping the, the, the Polish military um, and civilians who were fantastic, by the way, um, helping them where we can in terms of organizing and distributing supplies. Um, doing a lot of supply runs. Carter says there's an evident need for resources, and he wanted to be part of the solution, despite the potential dangers. I, I didn't really hesitate to come here. I didn't feel scared. Um, you know, um, I just, I guess maybe I did, but I, what I felt more so was just like my desire to, to help out. And he says having the chance to meet and help the Ukrainian people made the trip more than worthwhile. Seeing people go there just to see what they can do to help has been great The, you know, despite the, the tragedy that this is, the Ukrainians have just been just so resilient, you know, and um, that's just really inspiring. Carter does not have a date to return to the U.S. and is hoping to stay as long as possible to help. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.